degree. The atmosphere is ripe here. Uh, we've got a spread of tornadoes this afternoon as well as into the evening hours as well. We'll see individual spotty thunderstorms out ahead of the main line, which will ultimately move through most likely into the overnight hours. So let's take a look here at the bigger picture, and then we'll break a little bit more down for you because I don't want you to lose sense of the overall idea of what's happening here today. So as we take a look at our future radar about an hour from now, it's doing a good job picking out all these individual supercells which have been developing into Mississippi and Alabama. Those are the ones that are individual storms that can stay on the ground and last for a long period of time. But look what's also happening back here. That's where our cold front is, and that will be sort of the last hurrah as the storms move through. So this is going to be happening in multiple rounds. If you're in the risk area and you haven't had storms yet today, it's still coming. It's still coming, so keep that in mind. Atlanta, for example, we're wedged in, and once those winds change from the east to the south, uh, watch out. Things are going to be uh, developing pretty rapidly. This will continue through the afternoon hours. We've got a lot of instability. There you can see it really increasing. Uh, Mobile over towards Pensacola, uh, 8 o'clock tonight, still seeing supercells across parts of Alabama and trying to work their way across the state line into Georgia. Here's a look at 10 o'clock tonight. Here's that main line. You're looking better by 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock in a place like New Orleans and Jackson. Birmingham, it's going to be after midnight before you're out of the woods. Montgomery, more likely 4 o'clock in the morning. And take a look at this. Uh, Atlanta, 6 a.m. may be some of the worst of the weather swinging through your area. I would right now just go ahead and plan on delaying my morning commute. Wait till those storms move out until you have to head back out. So here's a look, a closer look at a place like Mobile over towards Biloxi, Gulfport, Pensacola. Uh, that's where we have tour comes ranging from 3 to 5. Just to the north of that, that's where we're seeing our 7s in that uh, purple area, Greenville, Citronelle, over towards uh, the Wiggins area. The higher the number, the higher the risk. Keep in mind this goes all the way up to a scale of 10. So when we see a 9, that gives us the utmost of confidence that large and dangerous tornadoes are very likely, that watches and warnings both occur. Watches means conditions are favorable. Warnings mean take cover now. So that's a look across the Birmingham area. We have warnings in effect across the area right now. And we will see more storms track through this region through this evening, continuing into the overnight. And that main line that moves through overnight tonight uh, could produce some really strong gusty winds, but Chris also embedded tornadoes within that line. So we have what we call an all hazards kind of a day. Large tornadoes, large hail, damaging winds, and even flash flooding, which is ongoing across the region right now. Yeah, Birmingham are already under that flash flood warning. You're looking live at Birmingham, Alabama, and we are kind of surrounded by tornado warnings on our north side, our southwest side, and even our southeast side. And there's a whole bunch more uh, storms kind of firing up. Let's quickly show you the radar. Uh, too many to count, really, and it can get confusing when you look at all of these little squiggles. On top of that, there's severe thunderstorm warnings and flash flood warnings. Let's dive in a little bit more closely to some of the more concerning tornado warnings. That's the one to the southwest of Birmingham near Tuscaloosa. It has just crossed over Interstate 20 and continuing to push further north and east from there. If we continue to track this, it may take it to the Birmingham metro area or at least just to the north. Uh, over the next hour or so. So our weather producer, awesome, Sarah Dillingham, is continuing to control this on a day like this. You've got to have multi multiple hands, and we do at the Weather Channel here, uh, keeping you up to date with everything. Look at this, guys. This is a particularly dangerous situation tagged warning with it. A uh, life-threatening situation, especially if you are in the path of this. Downtown Bur uh, Tuscaloosa and University of Alabama, you have been cleared. This has thankfully stayed off to your south and east. However, People who live east of Tuscaloosa, I hope you are in your safe spot. Uh, anybody traveling here east of Tuscaloosa on their way to Birmingham or vice versa along I-20, I hope you have uh, uh, opportunity to get to somewhere safe. The next community in line is areas north of Colding towards Brookwood, likely going to be in your general vicinity within the next 10 to 20 minutes. So please take shelter immediately. Injuries have been reported along with structural damage. Thank you for